Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the main quest, the Hyena. Bayek travels to Giza to meet the informant, Mered, to learn about one of his targets, the Hyena. Bayek travels to Giza where one of his targets known as the Hyena controls the markets in pursuit of a mysterious agenda. Apollodorus' contact is Mered, a merchant who has kept tabs on the Hyena's activity. The reward is 2,500 experience, and we need to travel to Giza. Which is 740 feet from here, or meters rather. And I'm probably as close as I'm going to get. I could go to there, but that is just slightly closer. Let's just go from here. Uh, let's see, I thought I could cross around here. Hmm, I must have... Oh, it's over here. I was gonna say, I know it's near here. Clear off now! Uh, something's pissed off at me, but I'm just moving on. Oh no! Right <laughs> into the water. Oh well. Looks like my horse can swim pretty well. I was just a little hot. Just wanted to to get a quick dip in. Totally planned. Oops. So was that. Find the hyena. I must first speak to Mered. Volodoris contact. He is a merchant somewhere in this marketplace. Do you long for something more? Yeah. A better life? Then look no further than the great city of Letopolis. Many have already claimed a home of their own from the generous master Taharka. In his new Letopolis, there is only comfort and security. Letopolis is a right and a privilege for Egyptians everywhere. Put your trust in Masa Taharka and reclaim the life you deserve. Apparently, he hasn't heard the news yet. Welcome to Mered's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me. About the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Alright, you gotta pay him 100 drachmas, which is not a big deal. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. You absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name... Is Khalisid. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. No, did you? You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. All right, we got some updated info on our target. The hyena is Haliset, 
In the Giza Plateau, a member of the order called the Hyena prowls the barren landscape. Stories of disappearances and deaths plague the community. With relics, tombs, and other mysteries hidden beneath the sands, the merchants, scavengers, and bandits who occupy the area are always at odds, yet they all share a common sentiment when it comes to the hyena, fear. Awesome soup. Quite the reputation. Alright, so these guys are gonna go with me. I think they intend for me to take one of their horses, but screw it, I got my own horse. Whoa. You are friends with Mered? Ah, barely. He's a necessary ally. Mered rarely keeps protectors as allies. He doesn't trust authorities. But he pays well. And very few pay at all here in Giza. Cannot trust this sand in your hand. What can you tell me of the hyena? This Haliset girl? <laughs> we speak one word and we are hyena food. Nice trap. Come on, be on guard. We have a horse to retrieve. Okay, it's up there. You could take the road on the right here, but there's a cave that leads to it on the left, which I prefer. Plus, one of the location treasures is in there, so it seems like a good place to start. It's right here. Oops. Oh, someone's mad. Get over here. I got the reach on the spear. It's fantastic. I'm still bad at the horse combat. And I got knocked off my horse. Oh, that hurt. Oh, yeah? I got a move like that. That I just completely whiffed. God, I gotta be careful. I'm actually pretty low. Hopefully my buddies will help me. Take that! Alright. Thanks for the help, guys. Might have died without you. I don't remember if there's actually any enemies in here. I think they're all outside of the cave. Not seeing any. Anyways, we will plunder all their stuff. Kind of odd they don't have a guard posted down here. Considering this is where a lot of their valuables are. Perhaps they figured nobody would see their cave, but it's not well hidden at all. Alright, that's one of the location treasures. Carbon crystal. Okay, and I believe that's everything in here. So let's head up. Okay, and from here, we'll use Senu. Our objective is there. And I'll mark as many enemies as I can. There's a lot up here. Oops, wrong button. So there's a bunch up here, and then there should be some over in the camp. Well, I guess the whole thing's the camp, but over at the tents. And apparently somebody's locked up, we'll help them. Anybody up there? Apparently not. We do have a captain, though. Actually, that's a commander. Okay, that's good enough. Now, typically, my guys are not very stealthy. So most likely, we'll be taking all of these guys on with the uh, spear. Or perhaps the sickle sword. 
Well, they got him at least. Let's go ahead and impale this guy. Never gets old. Somebody else heard, that's good. Uh, we got a quiver up there. And a quiver up there. And a guy up there. Let's kill these guys first. One thing I've started to use a little bit more are my smoke bombs. Um, I like to use them after a dodge, although they only seem to work half the time. So I don't know what's up with that. Let's put that guy to sleep. We'll go assassinate him. He's Get an arrow in. Oh, he got up. Alright, impale this dude. Probably should have used the sickle sword, but whatever. Yeah, I'll use a smoke bomb, so I'll dodge and press triangle, drop the smoke bomb. Now sometimes after you do that, you can assassinate the guys in the smoke, and sometimes you can't. So I don't really know why it works sometimes, and other times it doesn't, but it can be useful. Assassinate. Because of my upgrade, though, it does do some damage. I haven't actually paid attention to how much damage it does. Not sure if it's significant or not. But it does some damage. Hey, what? Die, Mongol! Why did that guy just get alerted? Oh, because they're shooting. Yeah, that kind of tends to do that. Right, let's see if I can be slick. Actually, never mind. I was going to use the uh, smoke bomb, but no need. I'll just kill him. Oh, I'm on fire. That's not good. Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> Hmm. Spear actually doesn't do that much damage, does it? The overpower does, but regular attacks actually seem rather weak. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, I was about to assassinate. Oh. Come on, he just one-shot him. Well, never mind. Good job, dude. Wait, is that some treasure? Yes, it is. Can't be leaving that behind. It's a whole drachma. I could buy something with that, maybe. Alright, we still got quite a few guys left. Let's go over here. Which way is he going? He's going over there. I think I'll just assassinate him then. This must be Sleep for you. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. Yeah. Alright, that should be almost everyone. A couple guys over there. This dude right here. Taking a piss right next to the guy in the cage. What a jerk. I don't feel bad about killing you at all. There's apparently a guy sleeping over here. 
Oh, interesting. I didn't even know about this cave back here. What are you doing? Sleepy time. Right in the crotch. I seem to be good at hitting that area. Perhaps I should be aiming for it. Oh, never mind. This isn't the cave. Wait, is this guy asleep or dead? He's, uh, dead. Okay. Any other goodies around? Oh, there is a guy up there. What? Hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. And dead. Okay, I know there's some stuff down at the tents, and then that's probably it. Oh, and we also need to free the civilian. Here you go, buddy. Oh, we got something to read over here. Babaeth, we took the village. I know you don't agree, but Ptolemy's Philakitai don't care about backwater locations, and it's a nice point to launch a raid from. Send me men, I will make good use of them. Your raiding days are over. All right, location completed. 600 experience and we can take the horse. Whoa. Oh, he jumped on. Okay. Glad to have you aboard. Anything over here? Nope. if those guards are going to be pissed off at me. Guess we'll find out. Yes, they will. Take that. You better be helping on the back there. Alright, this went way smoother than the last one. Okay. Easy. You're back. Well, look at this. You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I have one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. <laughs> Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> okay, find... Kelly sets lair in the hills west of the pyramids. Up here. And there's no quick way for me to get there, so I'm taking the horse. Oh, that guy got owned. Rusty, you got a mean streak. Oh, 
Oh, I can already see my target. Makes it easy to get there. Oh, sorry, hyena. Not sure why they didn't attack me. Oh, there they go. Took them a while to figure out what happened. Did, did I just get hit by a horse? I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, I believe there's a road that leads up, and I think it's right there. Guys wandering around. I think those are actually bandits, maybe? If not, that hyena is going to be owning them very soon. Alright, let's switch to the uh, sickle sword for this. Ow! I'm trying to switch weapons here. Stop hitting me. Oh yes, it works marvelously. And let's see, can Senu get it from here? Yeah, we'll get a little bit closer. Where'd my horse go? Horse! Oh, you're over here. heck is that? What was that? Those shooting stars? I don't understand what I'm saying. Alright. Anyways. There's a target. And we got a whole bunch of hyenas. Keeping the sickle sword out. I'm kind of disliking the spear now, now that I've seen how weak its damage is. I don't know, we'll see. I still love all of its moves. But it does seem less effective. Ow, stop fighting me! I cut through all of you! Hurry this up. Running out of overpower. Alright, here we go. Whole bunch of leather. Alright. Uh, we'll go back to the spear. I think the large groups are done. The sickle sword is clearly better with large groups because of the overpower. That's not even remotely debatable. The question is, which is better at single target? And which is more fun to use? Fun is definitely a factor. So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khalis at I do not Merit want was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. Yeah, we got a bunch of them. Sickle sword! Ow! I gotta be careful, I'm getting low. Let's get rid of the boss first. Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Alright, be careful here. Oh, I thought he was dead. Back off. All right. Slightly close call there. All right, this guy's like losing his mind over here. Dude, the hyenas are gone. Calm it down. Do not, do not let that. Mercy, thank you, Magi. The hyena, where is she? I do not know. I am 
I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. Took them where? She kills them. I know it. She... She... Her hands! Oh, gods! Her hands are so bloody! Peace, friend. You are free. I will deal with Haliset. Where is Haliset taking captives? And why? Alright, what else do we have around here? Someone has made a letter. The symbol of the snake is on it. Hmm. Haliset is clearly working with the order. And they don't know she took some of the silica for herself. What was worth the danger of crossing the order? A message to Haliset. Haliset, it has been long since we have heard from you. We had expected more relics by now. None of the previous items were of any use. I have sent on more drachmas for you should you need to purchase any items from the markets. We prefer to cast suspicion elsewhere, until we can show our hand. If the silica is running dry as you claimed, it has been, we will need to find a new location. We expect you to scout for one. Send your reply through our usual channels, the snake. This is where Haliset slept, protected from sandstorms. The lotus flower of rebirth. She must have picked these for a reason. Now why would one of her loyal beasts be caged? Whack! And miss somehow. Kufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. Haliset's drawing. A drawing of the Great Pyramid of Kufu, most likely made by Haliset. She seems to have drawn attention to something beneath the tomb. And that's what was previously blocked off to me. So the mystery has been solved. Uh, the question is, can I fast travel close and, uh, I can. I can go to the top of the pyramid. <clears throat> Looks like some hyenas. She must be close. Hyenas. Haliset must be inside. You! Who dares to enter here where silence has befallen her? The Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. Man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? There we go. I was like, she normally talks. Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed! This trap door. What is it protecting? Asleep. Go no further, or I 
will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? Okay, let's go interact with this weird thing. A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? This thing right here. Retransmission, segment three. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? One of your... Look of your... These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying this in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear we were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus' words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the earth is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. Interesting object we have here. Alright, um...
We're gonna pick up a bunch of silica around the room. There's probably like six to eight of them. There's quite a bit. Oh, missed that one. There we go. Another one back here. Should be some on the other side of the room as well. And there's also one... Wait, hold on, I got myself turned around. Where am I? Okay, there's... There's one back that direction too. We'll get that in a bit. Or did I just pick it up? Oh, I see. I went into the back room. Okay, never mind. That is the one in the back room. This one should be the last. Oh, that's not even silica. That's a sleep dart. And one drachma. Alright, investigation time. Offerings to Osiris. Protector of the dead. This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. I think I know what dark deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. You're no match for me, desert scum! Alright, let's go get her. And I heard something. Huh. Sounded like I missed something, but I guess not. Maybe the investigation stuff. Remember, if you're on fire, rolling is your friend. I'm gonna wait for this to burn up. That should be good. Sand 
Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. She's got them smoke bombs. Where does she go? Over here. Wow. She travels fast. I've got an overpower waiting for her. I have come only for you, Oh my god. That did a lot of damage. Holy crap. I'd never hit her with that before. And so you will find the same fate as all other trespassers. Death by my hand. Where'd she go this time? There you are. Ow! Took her down with style. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat Laema? I just want my daughter back! Trophy earned the hyena. The quest is completed. Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. And level 27. Alright, let's check out some stuff here. The hyena's dead now. After her daughter's death, Haliset became obsessed with trying to resurrect her. With the help of the Order, she discovered an ancient tomb that she believed to possess the power to restore life. Far removed from reality and relentless in her approach, the hyena's actions harmed every soul in Giza. We have new gear, two ranged weapons. Uh, we have two bitter bows, we'll get rid of one. And that's it? Oh, the Nubian bow. Oh, and we have two new melee weapons. The Minoan Poppy Pen and a Cypriot Gabbro Head. And we can upgrade my ranged damage. Alright, ability points. We've got two, I believe I need three. Yep, I need one more. Inventory, we have Highly Set's Drawing. Uh, I think we read that before. And I've got a lot of trinkets now. We should probably go sell and buy some new stuff. Okay, let's go do that. Um, I think there's merchants over here. Or maybe not. Or did they just not show up on the map? Uh, well, there's just a blacksmith there. No weaver. How about back in Latopolis? They've got all three. Let's go there. I 
think I actually might have bought everything she has. Let's see. Oh, nope. The Persian Prince. A remnant of Persian history, worn by a prince as fleet as the wind. 2000? Sure. Alright, let's check that out. Hmm, not bad. I like it. Okay. The blacksmith, I will sell my stuff to him. Not sure if I want to upgrade. Let's see. The spear and the sickle sword are doing just fine. They're high level. Um, and my bow's level 24. Shield is level 20. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go ahead and sell all of my unnecessary items. Indeed. That was worth 2,200 drachma. Alright, we're done with him. And now... I will get a camel. Ah, hello, my friend. How can I help you? Or I could get another horse. Yeah, let's get the camel. Camson. His last owner had a lively sense of humor, and it seems to have worn off on the camel, who can spit at astonishing range. Sweet. I'm gonna spit on passerby. Just bam, right in your face. Okay, let's switch that out. Jeez, got so many mounts. Camson! How does Camson look? Does he actually spit? That'd be awesome. Nope, not spitting. Looks cool, though. I like him. Alright, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.